Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a little unusual for Game Binge, but I have here a bunch of Pokemon packs. In fact, this is 29 Pokemon packs. I didn't get in the entire booster box. Some people had already gotten to it, but I know for a fact that these people did not cheat when they pulled their uh, packs. So I bought the entire set uh, from a guy who would not let me weigh it in stores. Not that I wanted to, because that is mean. But whenever I got back, I weighed all these booster packs, and this is the weights. These are 19.5 grams, 19.6, 19.7, 19.8. Now, if you know anything about weighing uh, trading card packs, you know that the heavier ones are probably going to contain EXs or uh, hollows, whatever, and the lighter ones, not so much. Now, people use this all the time to get the rarest cards out of their packs when they draw them. You can go to Walmart and you can weigh them and find the best ones. That, in my opinion, is a little immoral and it's a little mean to those of us who just want to pull random packs. So I just bought the entire booster box that was left and I'm weighing them now just for demonstrative and educational purposes. I may do more card stuff in the future because this is Game Binge after all and trading card games are games. In fact, I have been kicking around the idea of doing a trading card day every week, like, you know, trading card binge or card binge or something like that, once per week where we open packs and talk about news and Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, that sort of thing, even Vanguard, that shitty new game that came out. Anyways, we're going to open these, starting with the big ones, and see what we get out of them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to open these last two because I don't think I'm going to get anything good out of these. I'd rather just maybe sell them online. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so I'd like to get some of this back. Um, but I'm going to just demonstrate that these two probably have something good in them that I'm most particularly interested in. So once again, 19.5 grams, 19.6, 19.7, 19.8. Um, Normally, you're supposed to get a scale that goes down to a hundredth of a gram, not a tenth of a gram, but I didn't have one of those on me. I'm probably going to get one in the future, uh, so I just used one that goes to a tenth of a gram. And so it should be fairly accurate, but we may get a little bit of, you know, uh, problems, maybe. We, we, we might, you know, get some hollows in here and not so much in here. We, we may get some little little issues here, but in general... Over here should be good, over here, not so much. So let's start with this and get right to the video at hand. I'm gonna try to make sure it stays in focus by opening them up uh, closer to the table. Let me move these up here so they're out of the way. Just keep in mind what they are. So the 19.8 right here, let's do it. I'm gonna start with this one. Now as per the usual card opening etiquette, ah, I'm gonna take the this thing and put it off to the side. I'm gonna take the bottom three cards and put them in the front. So, we got a trainer, thingy thing. I don't know much about Pokemon, by the way. I don't play it, I just sell the cards. Uh, I do know the Pokemon's name, obviously, because I grew up playing the games. Shit. Okay, so we got a whatever this is, and then we got a Hollow. Okay, so that's good. That's what we're expected to get. When we take the uh, ones that weigh the most, we're expected to get at least this and at least a hollow or an EX on this one. So that's good. This is what we expected to get. That means the weighing did in fact work. I'm gonna set these aside. And later I'll get my Mexican friend to clean that up. Cause that's his job, right George? Sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this away. Put these three on top, and let's see what we got. Oh, I think we got something. Did you see that, George? Yes, I did. I think we got something. It's probably a full art something. I can uh, tell. I can feel uh, it. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Okay, so we got this. Oh, that's nice. A little. I don't know how to pronounce that. Zuelus, I think. Zuelus. Tornadus. Yes. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. Look at Bam. That. So as you can see, yes, the weighing does work, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't believe it, believe it. The the higher packs will, without a doubt, get you at least this and a hollow or this and one of these babies. Uh, we were doing this earlier today, and it I, I promise you, it works. Now, once again... Try not to do this uh, unless you're buying the entire booster pack because it's it's just it's not fair to those people who go out there and try to you know just pull random packs and see what their luck gets them. So try try not to abuse this too much. It's 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 frowned upon in the card gaming community. I'm gonna set those aside. Once again, my Mexican friend is going to clean this up later. 
see what we got out of this one. I think we got something on this one too. Put this in the front. All right, so Jolteon, Execute, Need Arena, Eevee, Hoot Hoot, Volt, fuck, Voltorb, Dratini, Sandile. We got, ooh. Reverse Crocodile. Crocodile and... Absol. Eh, not bad. Absol. Another another hollow. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's working for sure. Definitely. And I expect to get... I'm hoping to get another EX out of this one, to be or honest. Or a secret rare. Or, or yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Secret rare. Um, and what's, what's strange is in this booster pack, there was no one like thing that stuck out. Usually there's one that's heavier than all the others. And this didn't happen that time. So maybe someone else got lucky before us. All right. <sighs> By the way, these come out of Plasma Freeze, if I didn't already say that. Put these three on front. Vaporeon, Mill Tank. Oh, a lot of Mill Tanks out there, a lot, a lot of Whale Lords out there. I'm trying to find people. Okay, got Grimer, Yamask, Timple, Sandile. Reverse, yes. Ah, Electrode. Oh. I already got one of those, but that's all right, you know. Yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Actually, I pulled a reverse uh, electrode a while ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we got those cards. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try these out as well and see see what we get with that. The .7s? Yeah, these these are the nineteen point sevens. I'm probably not going to open these because I'm I'm just I'm not feeling I'm not feeling too great about those. You know, just just not. And I want to get some of my money back. I did spend quite a bit of money today on cards. Throw this away, Mexican. All right, put these in the front. Let's see what we got here. Frozen City, Dragonair, Palpitoad, Yamask, Litwick. I don't know how to pronounce these, but whatever. You get the idea. Dratini, not Earth. bad. Weavile. Ah, and see, this was the lighter one. Le the lighter one, and we didn't get a hollow. Yep, that that happens. See, that's that's where the weight comes in, you know. So yeah, it it definitely does work. Um, I would expect to get some hollows in in this one because this is one of the these are some of the heavier packs. If I had a more uh, what's it called a more preci precise scale, I probably would get better luck with this. Ooh, nice looking Flareon, Cedra, Belden. We got a Cacnea, Leafeon. I actually have another one of these that's an, an uncommon that I got out of that stupid other pack. And another freaking Leafeon that's not as beautiful looking. That's pretty stupid, not gonna lie. That actually happened to me when I opened a Heart Gold and Soul Silver Undaunted pack. Reverse Leafeon and a rare Leafeon. Did you want to slap a marsupial when that happened? No, I was actually quite happy because I like that Leafeon from that set. You do? Yes, I do. Do you think we're gonna get any more <laughs> EXs? Possibly. I mean, we I got lunch. 29 freaking packs, so I would, I would imagine someone else must have got lucky and took them right off the top for us. You know. You got cleaned out. <laughs> got cleaned out. Chin Chow. Miltic. Oh, that's not bad. That's you a know. cool looking chandelier. That's cool. Oh, and another thing about the Leafeons I pulled, it was at a pre-release for Undaunted, and the promo card for that set was a Leafeon. So I got three of them in the same day, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. I have a good feeling about this one. No, I don't. Oh, you did get something. Oh, shit. Maybe I did. Okay. It's probably... See? I don't, I don't know. It's too soon to say. Mankey. And Heatran. Is it? Yeah, I knew it. Nice. I already have one of these, but nice. So there you go. The heavier packs are the ones you want to go with. Now, probably if we had a more precise scale, this would have been one of the packs that was closer to the originals. It would have been like almost, you know, on the edge of 19.8. So I probably would have chosen this uh, apart from all those other shitty ones that I opened whenever I was using a precise scale. But, you know, I don't have a precise scale, so unfortunately I got to go with this. But we're still getting pretty good results. I mean, out of all the packs we opened, only two did not have some type of, you know, uh, you know, foil or this, whatever. So, that's pretty cool. 
so far we, we definitely got the luck on our side. These are all pretty trashy though. Probably just gonna sell them for you know I'll, I'll mark I'll mark them down and be, and be you know be nice to the people who bought them because I, I know they're probably not gonna get anything good out of it. So I'll, I'll mark it down quite a bit for them. You got something. Oh, really? Oh, re I got something. Okay. All it right. seems like you got something. I it don't know. It did seem like I got something. I'm not going to lie. It was black. I feel like I got something. Sure. And? I have one of these. Mother Hunter. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You know. Hmm. That's interesting. That's hmm. interesting. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. I can wait. <laughs> All right. Well, we, mm -hmm. we're getting some, some pretty beast cards. I'm not going to lie. Last pack that I'm going to open in this video. Let's see what we got here. You feeling good about this one, Georgie? Uh, not really. I'm kind of uneasy right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I think I feel something here. I think I feel something too. Vaporeon. I'm gonna try to pronounce all of these. Kakuna. Kakuna. Let me do it. Lantern. Horsey. Dino? Dino. Dino, fuck you. <laughs> Litwick. Pachirisu? Close enough. <laughs> Trico. I know that one. Reverse Ponyard. Ponyard. Fuck and you. Full Art. Ah. Uh, Umbreon. Good. I like that character. That uh, yeah, Pokemon. Not bad. Not bad. It's okay. I can wait. So there you have it. We pretty much in every single one except for I think two, we got um one of these or an EX, except for two. So that's pretty freaking good, you know. And these, I can guarantee you, probably aren't going to have anything. I'm just going to sell them at markdown from retail because, you know, I feel bad for the people who are going to get them, and I don't want them to pay the normal price when I know damn well they're probably not going to get an EX from it. So, you know, uh, if you want to use this trick, try to, be, try to be nice with it. Try not to, you know, overload people. Try not to abuse it too much. But it does work. I've just pretty much proven it. We got all these awesome cards. Normally it takes a lot of time to actually pull this many EXs. It's not very common. You know, you go and you find the booster things and you like pull a few random ones and you rarely get an EX out of it. If, if you're lucky, you might get one, but this many in a row, you know, uh, it's, it's unlikely, especially with this many left to open, which probably don't have any. Like, I'm almost certain that none of, like, maybe one of these if, if there was a fluke, but it's, it's just generally unlikely. Do you have any closing statements, George? Mm. Uh, I'm pretty jealous right now. Why do you say that? Is it because you play this game? Yes, I do, and, uh, and I also collect them, so. Yeah, and I don't play this game. Yeah. I just wanted to buy some cards, you know, yeah. and sell Just because them. you can. And just sell them, you know. Sell them. Get yeah. some. Get some. Get some scratch. I like some scratch. Or cheddar, as some people. Cheddar, say. yes. Fat stacks of cheddar, is my game. Mm. You should buy some of these cards off me. <clears throat> Perhaps, if I want to. All right. Yeah. Well, anyways, my name is Chris McGuire, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I'll probably do more card videos like this. If you guys want it, please leave a comment below saying that yeah, we want it or. You know, make more or something like that. I don't know. Leave, leave us a comment just saying whether you liked it or not. Uh, it's just something fun I wanted to do because I had these lying around and I figured, hey, open them and show people, yes, you can friggin' wait cards. It, it works. A lot of people just, they're, they don't believe it. But yeah, it, it pretty much works. Yes. Anyways, cheers. See you later.